Hello guys, welcome back to My Calling Life, RJ here. So today we're going to continue from where we have left off from our previous video. So today we're going to learn how to format the text in our paragraph and also adding image to our web page. Now I'm going to just go here and click on open my digital studio code text editor. Now you can use any type of text editor that you want, uh, but I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. And if you want to download uh, Visual Studio Code, I'll provide a link to the web page of Visual Studio Code in the description down below. So uh, now I'm just going to go here and click, click on File and go to Open Folder and open the folder where I have saved uh, my index.html file. So I'm going to click Select Folder and I'm going to click here and open my index.html so here we is, is where we have left off before now uh, there's a few ways that we can format the text within this uh, paragraph tag now say if you want to make the text bold you can do that uh, by I'm, I'm just going to copy this first and I'm going to paste it here now to, to make the text bold, you just hit the bold tag, open bold tag, and close bold tag right, within the paragraph element. Right? So open paragraph here, open bold here, close bold here, close paragraph here. Now I'm going to save this, and let's see how it does in our browser. So I'm going to click refresh on my browser. So there you go. The text has become bold. Now, how about italic? So, to to make an italic text, I'm going to copy and paste it here. You just change the B into I, which stands for italic. Now, I'm going to hit Control S to save it and go back to my browser and click refresh. And there you go. The text has been italic. Now, how about say if you are if you are writing, if you want to display a mathematical mathematical formula, and uh, say the mathematical formula has a subscript and superscript, now how you're going to do that? So there's a way that we can do that. I'm just going to type open P first, open paragraph and close paragraph. Let's say the formula is E equals to M C squared. Now if you just type this. Uh, the text will appear the same, right? But if you want to make the the, the two to to become a square, uh, which is a, a superscript, uh, you can add you can do that by adding a superscript tag, right? Open superscript and close superscript, and let's go ahead and hit Ctrl S to save that and hit refresh in our page now there you go uh, the two has become a superscript a square so you equal to mc square now how about subscript and uh, now you can do that uh, same way as a superscript you just change the letter p into b which stands for subscript and now the two the number two will become a subscript there you go a superscript and a subscript now how about aligning the text in this web page now let's say if I want to align this text in the furthest part in my web page, you can do that by typing align within this open P tag, align equals to double quote. And within this double quote, um, I'm going to type right. Uh, I'm going to hit Control S to save and refresh my web page. And there you go. The text is in the, in the furthest right. By default, the text, every paragraph text will begin from the left of the web page. Right? So how about center? Cent to, to align the text in the center of the screen, it's the same. Uh, you just type align equals to double quote, and within the double quote, I'm going to type center. And your, tag, your, your text, your paragraph should appear in the center of the web page. Okay? So now... Um, image okay to, to add an image uh, you're gonna have to add the image tag uh, ing which stands for image and src which stands for source equals to double quote 
and inside this double code, I'm gonna place the directory of the file where my image file is located. So I'm gonna go here to my file explorer, and this is where my image is saved. So I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna copy this directory, and I'm gonna paste it within this double code. And I'm gonna add another backslash, and edit the name of my image file, which is grumpy cat. I'm gonna type uh, grumpy cat. Grumpy cat followed by dot. The format of my image. If it is, since my image is in the format of JPEG, I'm gonna type J JPEG dot JPG. If your image is in the format of PNG, you, you have to type the name of your file followed by dot the format of your image file. So I'm gonna hit control S to save this. And I'm gonna go to my browser here and click refresh and there you go. You have uh, your image appear in your web page. So uh, so I, I think that's it for today guys. Uh, in the next video we're gonna look into how to create a table and adding adding data to our table and also adding image in our table. So Thank you for watching guys and remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you like it. So I'm going to sign in out now. It's RJ for Michael Lay. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.